I'm here in Madiba Lodge in Tetangani National Park to check out the adventure activities while Palisa indulges in the luxuries of the Five Star Lodge. As far as premium accommodation goes, Madiba Mountain Lodge is endowed with both picturesque scenery and breathtaking quality of the rooms and cuisine. It's a paradise away from home. Thanks, Churchy. A wise man described Lesotho as a sacred experience that feeds one's soul and inspires life. That's how I feel at the magnificent Madiba Mountain Lodge. My name is Palisa, and you're watching Discover Lesotho. If you googled Madiba Mountain Lodge, your search will probably return you a host of web pages and many customers singing their praises. I don't want you to imagine it. So, let's check it out. Tell us about Madiba Lodge. Well, Madiba Lodge, it means the place of water. In English, it's Madiba Lodge, and then in Susutu, which is the local language, it is Madiba Lodge. It is the only five-star lodge in Lesotho. We have six rooms, one honeymoon suite, and then five other rooms, which is uh, a full, with all three meals included. And we also have the self-catering units, which is four rooms, and can, can accommodate to eight people in one room. Of the lodge, 75% of, of the staff helped build the lodge, and it's an Afro-Asian style to bring African and Asian together. We imported most of the from the interior, from interior decor from Bali, and then the exterior we tried to fit in with within the natural um, environment by by having earthy colours and, and just sticking to the environment. The lodge is the only five-star uh, lodge in Lesotho. It's very unique, and it is um, it, because it's so high up in 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 the mountains. It makes it totally unique and different. <laughs> Who comes here? Well, we have a variety of international and local guests. We have people from South Africa and people from overseas, and then we also have the local Basutu people coming to the lodge, and even the King of Lesotho came to visit us for the Easter weekend. And what are the comments of your guests? Well, they, they compliment about the food and also the singing in the evenings, and they, and they say, that they like, you know, in the winter, the snow, and they comment about uh, the hiking trails and the horses and so forth. Andrew, tell me about the meal you'll be serving me. The Maliba chart was served with the armor croquette and hollandaise. We try to use all the ingredients from our local environment and uh, we usually have our trout coming through from one of the farms this side here. So it's important to try to use what's local and what's more organic. How long does it take to prepare? Uh, there's a lot of uh, prep involved, but just from kitchen to plate, about 10 minutes. And what's so special about the meal? I think being that the trout and the sea, fresh water from the river over here, I think because we use everything what's organic and everything what's from the surrounding areas. With all the food, accommodation, entertainment and scenery at the Madiba Mountain Lodge, a tour of the Tetlanyane Nature Reserve on board a Musutu pony is a must. Tell us about Tetlanyane National Park. The name of this park, Tetlanyane, is from, is named after the village because our village down there is called the Tetlanyane community. So the park is about 5,600 hectares, so it's very big. We have some plants like the bamboos, the natural medicines, that's the plants or the roots that we can 
uh, that we can grow to make our traditional medicines. And we have the big trees like the chichi. The chichi trees, it's a big tree, but in some places we regard it as a bush. But here we regard it as a tree. So it's full of fauna and flora, plants, many beautiful flowers in here, and the beautiful trees, plants, and medicine. It's very rich. Now I'm guiding you to the black pool. So where is the black pool now? The black pool is about uh, 3.2 kilometers away from uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. So we are going to get there. We are calling them the black pools because of this rock, as you see the rocks here. The rock in the water it seems like black, so that's why we call it the black pool. And it's deep to 2.5 meters deep. Where is this water coming from? This water is coming from the sources at the, at the mountains there because we have a lot of springs and the sources. So the water is coming from the sources there to here. And it's refreshing, it's full of minerals. That's why we can drink it. It's drinkable, it's easy to drink. It's not harmful like other waters because it's run right from the sources. Because of the high altitude, the water is clean, fresh and free of impurities. We saw some animals when you came here. Tell us about those animals. Those animals are the eland. They are from South Africa. We derive them from South Africa. The plan for the park management is bring the animals that can feed on grass only, that are not harmful or dangerous to the people, that we think they were here maybe 100 or some 200 or 100 years ago. What else can we do here? I understand you have a pony tracks. We have the nice pony tracks whereby we can ride the horses on. We have, at the lodge there, we have about three horses. Uh, we call them the Basutu mountain ponies because they can fly up the mountains. It's very easy to them. Except the ponies, we have the village tour. We can guide the, the, the guests to the villages there to see how Basutu live like, how is the lifestyle of Basutu. What I think is exciting is these mountains because these mountains look like very beautiful, particularly in the rainy season because it looks like as if, as if it's crying because there are many waterfalls in, inside this park and it's water. It's water is very pure and refreshingly, particularly in summer, because in summer it's warm to about 20 degrees Celsius. So it's nice to swim and the volume of water at that time is very high, so we can swim easily. The unique experience about coming to uh, Madiba Lodge was that by its name, Madiba, basically means a dip into the water. Now, it was so natural seeing the whole water and it was so beautiful. The view was so spectacular and that's what I think it's so much unique about Madiba Lodge. The hike was so uh, okay and very nice, but especially because the guide was able to tell me about the history and everything or rather the activities that were happening or rather the, uh, the activities that happened here in uh, Madiba Lodge and that was exactly as well but hey the hike was very long that's why I think it was so better to actually uh, ride a horse so really uh, people can get excited here and that's exactly what I think my country is it's got very adventurous places now isn't that a view to die for Coming here to Madiba Lodge, to Madiba Mountain Lodge, shows us that Lesotho has got a world-class place, one of those beautiful places. If I were to read everything here, I would give it a 10 out of 10. 
From the food to the decor, everything was just wonderful. One can even indulge in stargazing on a clear night. I had the most beautiful time here. And look at this, what a way to end up a beautiful day, hey? And the African skies, man, it's like a dream come true.